Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the devotion of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This devotion is one of my favorite devotions in the Catholic faith. I absolutely love this devotion, and I'm doing it right now because on June 24th of this year, uh, is that we celebrate the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We actually do it all of June, which is so awesome. So all June you can celebrate uh, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So it's cool because every year it kind of moves around. It's usually in June, but it is 19 days after Pentecost, we celebrate the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I absolutely love this devotion. There's so many reasons why I love this devotion. There's actually quite a few devotions within the devotion, so I'm gonna get into some of them. But pretty much, it's Jesus. It is Jesus with a burning heart. You'll, you've probably seen it all, it's all over the world. It's probably one of the most well-known, besides the crucifix, image of Jesus. And I absolutely love it because it reminds me how much God loves me and how his heart is burning with love for us. And if you stop and you meditate on that, it is truly mind blowing because this is God who is so in love with us, you know, sinners, mortals, like, like he is so high above us, but he loves us in such an intimate, loving way. And so I absolutely love the image and I truly do believe that this image should be in every single house in the world. I think um, there's lots of promises of if you have this, if you enthrone your house to, to Jesus, so that's one of the ways is to enthrone your house to Jesus. So pretty much you're saying, Jesus, you are the king of this house. And when you think about it, what king would not take care of his kingdom, right? So, and he's the most amazing, wonderful king of all. So. That is why um, when you have the Sacred Heart picture and you enthrone them, so I actually on my website have all these prayers. These are all the Sacred Heart Jesus. There's litanies of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. There's um, how to enthrone your house, like what prayers. It's pretty cool. There's the novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which is how I knew Eric was my husband. I did a novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So I am a big believer in the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And um, so I have everything up on my website along with a blog that explains a lot of this there. But, um, <clears throat> but what you wanna do is enthrone your house to the Sacred Heart of Jesus because then he is in charge of your house. You're pretty much saying our house is yours, we are your people, we want you to have dominion over us. You know, we want you to be the Lord of all lords and the king of our house and all of that. So it's so awesome. It's great to get the kids involved. I highly encourage to enthrone your house every year on the Sacred Heart of Jesus Feast Day. So that is a wonderful thing to do. This year, it's on Friday. So it's coming up right around the corner. Okay, so another devotion that goes with the Sacred Heart of Jesus is the First Friday devotion. And that's exactly how it sounds. The first Friday of every single month uh, for nine months in a row. So if you start in June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So in February, that'd be the last, the last one you'd have to do. Um, but pretty much what you do is you go to Mass and you receive the Eucharist, go to confession if you need to, and there is a little prayer that you can pray as well, but that is the first Fridays. It's a lot easier than the first Saturdays. Uh, there's another devotion, um, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, that is the first Saturdays. So, and that's only five months, but it's a little more intense and it's awesome. Our family does it. So that is another devotion, and the reason that these devotions are great because God gives a lot of promises and he, the reason why is because he really wants us to engage with him. He really wants us to understand that he is in love with us. And you know, and there's no better way than to receive the Eucharist, to go to confession and to be united with God. There's also the litany of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. That's another great prayer. There's a prayer you can pray every day where you consecrate yourself to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And so there's all these different like devotions within the devotion for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Um, but I do encourage you to get an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I've said this in a 
another video and you would not believe the stories of people who said, you know, I went to church and there was a Sacred Heart Jesus picture there that was on the floor that somebody had just dropped off and the priest said, oh, you can have that. And like, Jesus wants you to have this image in his house. He said it to St. Margaret Mary. And so we have to understand that if we ask God, he will give it to you because he wants you to have it just as much as you want to have it as well. So um, anyway, so that's kind of prepare for Friday because that is the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You can enthrone your house to Jesus, I think anytime though. I don't think it has to be on his actual feast day, especially June, the whole month of June, we celebrate the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So um, I know lots of people have little parties where they you know, have sandwiches that look like the Sacred Heart of Jesus and little crafts for the kids and all of that. So um, whatever your family feels like doing, but definitely go to my website and check out all the prayers, the enthronement prayers. I have the 12 promises of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I have the litany of the Sacred Heart. So all of these, you can just print them out and then you have all these prayers. And I have lots of prayers over on my website at catholicmomslife.com. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy. I hope you have a fabulous Sacred Heart of Jesus feast day. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.